So with an isosceles trapezoid, when we're trying to prove that these diagonals are equal, it's really key in how we put down the coordinates. So let's try and draw this. I'll try to draw an isosceles trapezoid for you real quick. Um, let's see, it goes up like this. Ooh, pink. And then it goes over parallel to the base. So this looks like it's going to be parallel-ish. And then down at the same kind of distance so that it looks right. Does that look right? More or less. More or less. <coughs> Okay, so once again, what's the first one that we can put in? The first coordinate is 0, 0 down here at the origin. That is always a key one. <clears throat> now, what about this point up here? I have gone two distances, correct? I've gone a certain distance in the x coordinate, and I've gone a certain distance in the y. So how far do you want to go in the x? You want to go B units? Okay, B units sounds perfectly okay. You can use whatever letter that you really want to use. We'll say that this is B units here. I've, from this, this right here is B units, right? This much. And how high have we gone? C? Z? Z? Yeah. All right, Z, bless you. So this has the coordinate points. B comma Z. Okay, that's BZ right here. BZ. That's the coordinate of this corner. Okay, everyone okay with that? We've got B units in the X direction and Z units in the Y direction. So now I'm going to come over to directly underneath this point. So now I have another distance to call a letter. How far is it in between here? What letter do you want to use? T looks like pluses. Let's don't do T. Key, no, Q's look like nines. Don't say Q. Lowercase a. No, not Y. Y is already the vertical coordinate. Let's don't use A. A's and B's and C's and D's are nice and easy to use. So this much is A from here. So what is the X coordinate of this point up here? Look, I've gone this far. How far is this? A, B. This is B units, and then I've gone how far? A. A units. So how far is it from 0, 0 all the way out to here? A plus B. It's B plus A. It's not another letter. It's not a third or fourth letter. It is this distance that I've gone plus that distance that I've gone. Okay. Unless, of course, you come down here and say F equals A plus B. And then that will delineate, that will tell you that this is now F. But that's getting too confusing. Let's use as few letters as possible. That's better for you. Okay, and then what about the Y coordinate? How high is this up again? Z. This is up Z. So this is the coordinate of this point. I've gone B units and then A more units. So this X is B plus A, and I'm still Z units up. Now what about this one out here? How much further have I gone this much here? Okay. Do we have this distance already? Yes. We do have this distance already. Why do we have it? Because it's isosceles. Because it's an isosceles trapezoid, this length has to be the same as that length. So this is still the same, that's still the same, that means this little length down here has to be the exact same also. If it's not, this is no longer isosceles, these legs are different. Okay, that's why we do an isosceles trapezoid, because we have equal lengths with an isosceles trapezoid. We have a rectangle in the middle, and we have two congruent triangles glued to the edges of that rectangle. Okay, that's how we get ourselves an isosceles trapezoid. So this has the point down here, two b's plus one a comma zero. Okay, that is the most important point of all of these coordinate geometry proofs. They're not really proofs, they're more algebraic kind of stuff, but setting up the coordinates so that they make sense. Do 
geometrically, as well as, in this case, algebraically. So if we want to show the diagonals are equal, so now let's draw in our diagonals, one at a time. The diagonal goes from, let's see, I'm going to use purple. <coughs> let's make it correct. I'll do it with a real color. Okay, here's one diagonal. There we go. The purple diagonal. <coughs> so what is the length of this purple diagonal? Let's call this one C, because we haven't used C yet. Okay, how do you suppose we should go about finding this length? The same way we did with the other one. Let's drop ourselves a nice perpendicular here, a vertical line, which makes this into what kind of a triangle? A right triangle. Okay, so we have a base of the right triangle and we have a height. What's our height? Z is the height. So according to Pythagoras, z squared plus, what's my base down here? A plus B, in parentheses, whatever that happens to be, squared equals C squared, the hypotenuse of that right triangle. So once again, we solve for C by square rooting everything, and C comes out to be the square root of Z squared plus parentheses A plus B squared. Now remember, when you plug in numbers, this would become a number and we would square it. So that's why we're leaving it in parentheses because we have to add those two lengths together before we would square it. So that's the length of C. Now let's do a similar thing to find the other diagonal. Here's the other diagonal. What letter shall we call this? D S. S S's look like fives, but if you really want S. F's. F's. <laughs> so once again, we're going to drop our vertical line here. So we have what kind of a triangle? A right triangle, and we can use our buddy Pythagoras. So what's our height here again? The Y coordinate is? Z. So hopefully you're noticing real quick like that this should not be a problem and we're going to have Z squared plus. Okay, now it's, now it's from here all the way to the end. Notice because it's isosceles, these letters turn out to be the same. Okay, if it weren't isosceles, this would not be true. That's why this is only true in an isosceles trapezoid. And we said our hypotenuse was S. So once again, square rooting both sides gives us this as the length of that diagonal. Yes, question. Correct, because A plus B and B plus A are the same. Addition is commutative. 5 plus 2 and 2 plus 5 are the same thing. Okay, so when we have these nice isosceles things, make sure you're using the same letters for the same lengths so that you can show that the two equations are equal for both of these lengths.